I am Seema Shrivastava from St. Joseph's. Welcome back after long vacation. How are you? I hope all of you are doing good. Today I will teach you lesson number 3 from MCB that is main course book. Name of chapter is Going for Water. It's a poem written by Robert Frost. Let's start reading of the poem. Warm up The poem has a happy tone there is a laughter in the air and delight as the children head towards the woods where the brook is the well was dry beside the door and so we went with pail and can across the fields behind the house to seek the brook if still it ran not loath to have excuse to go because the autumn eve was fair though chill because the fields were ours and by the brook our woods were there we ran as if to meet the moon that slowly dawned behind the trees the barren boughs without the leaves without the birds without the breeze but once within the wood we paused like gnomes that hid us from the moon ready to run to hiding new with laughter when she found us soon each laid on other a staying hand to listen ere we dared to look and in the hush we joined to make we heard we knew we heard the brook a note as from a single place a slender tinkling fall that made now drops that floated on the pool like pearls and now a silver blade written by robert frost now let's understand few hard words that we came across through in this poem first word is seek seek means to find not loath means willing not unwilling which means he is willing if evening barren empty gnomes fairy creatures air before don't rose boughs branches note musical sound the poem going for water has been written by poet robert frost it is about why the children had to go very far to find water and where they had went on adventure with their pail and can can you imagine why to collect water from a brook which is located somewhere in the woods near their own fields in this journey they went through their familiar fields with joy and excitement the main characters in this poem are children who are eager to explore the world as there is no longer any water available in the old well okay this poem has a happy tone because there is a laughter in the air and delight as the children head towards the wood where the brook is okay they went to wood when the well which was next to their door got dry they went towards in search of water so where they will find water there is a brook so they went to find that brook brook is a water body na it means a fall na okay it was the known place for them okay the brook was by their words 
it was fair chilled autumn evening and they wanted to explore the world they were going out in search of water as they are going to grab the moon which is appearing from behind the trees as it was the month of autumn there was neither leaves on the branches nor birds and trees they passed into forest and joy in hand to hand together and before stepping forward into the forest they listened carefully as they were aware of everything they found it out it was a lovely music of flowing water it is a type of fall situation okay as water was flowing from up to down and now they could see the beauty of floating water drops on the water bodies are looking like white pearls on the silver blade okay now i hope all of you have understood the proper explanation of the poem thank you